Hi everybody, my name is Jennifer Klitsky, author of Naturally Gated. This is my friend's horse, Lady. She's an unregistered 10-year-old mare. We believe she's Morgan, Morgan Cross, but we also believe she's gated. Anyhow, she came to our house and um, she was quite difficult to get a bridle in her mouth. Uh, not totally sure what the history has been with her, but um, we did have the vet come out for sprig shots and teeth floats. She was floated uh, and she's been a lot easier to bridle since. But there's a handy little tip that I learned when I was working with um, horses from the Hooved Animal Rescue. Um, we were fostering several of them here and working with them. And a lot of them were very, very difficult to bridle. So what I do is I, I have a bite-sized alfalfa pellet and I put that in my hand and I put the bit over it and I haven't had any trouble bridling a horse. Um, pretty soon they lower their head and they open their mouth, accept the bit and then they get their treat. So they always uh, start thinking of the bit as a, as a reward and a, a treat versus it being a negative thing. So in addition to that is correct training. Uh, with a snaffle bit so that the horse seeks its contact instead of um, pain, you know, just reacting in a, in a pain resistant way. So you want them to have a, a trust with your hands and the bit and not be afraid of the bit. I'm a bridler since the te her teeth were floated and I haven't had any trouble uh, bridling her. So getting the teeth checked and floated regularly is very, very important because the sharp edges can dig into the sides of their cheeks and it's raw and it hurts. So you definitely don't want a horse that um, has pain um, and they don't, you don't want to have pain uh, connected with a bit. You know, you want them to seek the contact with the bit. So that's how I do that. Ready for ride. Right. 